Our rain chances are going up as we make our way toward the middle of the week, especially on Wednesday. That's when we'll have our highest chance of rain across the area. Some tropical moisture to the south and a disturbance to the west meets up across central Texas. Locally heavy rain will be possible there. Still keep some scattered showers and thunderstorms around on Thursday, but as we head toward the weekend, we should see those rain chances on the decrease, but temperatures will really spike up as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Our future track showing maybe a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms out there for tonight, but most of it should be either northeast of us or southwest of us as we head through the overnight hours on into Tuesday morning as well. Then by Tuesday afternoon, tropical system down across the Gulf of Mexico will have to keep an eye on. That will increase moisture levels south of I-10. Another disturbance moving in from the west, and as we make our way into Wednesday, Wednesday. That's when our shower and thunderstorm potential will be going up as these two meet up across the area for some locally heavy rainfall possibilities Wednesday, maybe parts of Thursday as well before it starts to taper off. As far as rain amounts go, as we head through the next few days, it looks like in general one to two inches of rain looking likely across the area. There could be some isolated totals up to three inches for us, so that's something we will be tracking closely as we head toward Wednesday, Thursday and early Friday. Checking out your 10 day forecast, we will see the potential for some of these showers and thunderstorms to continue 30% on Tuesday, 70% Wednesday, and 50% Thursday. But notice how it goes down as we make our way into Friday. But we're looking at much warmer air. In fact, we'll kind of call it downright hot here Saturday into Sunday. Highs in the mid to upper 90s. And with the rain, you know it's going to be very steamy over the weekend. And then maybe a few more storm chances as we head toward the beginning of next week. Keep it right here on First Alert Central Texas. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines.